How's it going everyone? Rank reset. New time to start the game. Get ranking up. Get better. I did a beginner's guide before. And I just want to focus on a few little things to try and help you get better. If you're starting out. And if you just want to uh, get the game right now. Especially with so many more experienced players potentially down at your ranks. Okay. Number one is make sure that you're always trying to do something. Something useful and something proactive. Try not to worry or be scared too much when you're starting this game. Sometimes you will have to crouch around areas, sometimes you'll have to take time, be patient and pick your opportunities. But don't be afraid to sprint. Don't be afraid to make fast movements. If you've got no terror areas around here yet, you can't see the killer, chances are you're probably safe. Obviously don't take that always for granted, especially when you start a match. When you start a match, take your time to look for generators, look for teammates, look for the killer. Get a bearing of where you are, where you want to go to, and what you want to do next. Have a plan A, have a plan B. If you go to a generator, try and make sure it's one near a pallet to be on the safe side, especially when you're starting out. Pallets are very, very useful. Check out my looping guide, uh, which you've had to find to help you maximize that resource as you're starting out. Um, avoid generators, especially later on in the game, that are in poor positions for your safety. What I mean is, generator, which is right in the open, and hasn't got a pallet nearby, hasn't got any windows, any jungle gyms, these sort of things you can use to survive. Avoid them. If you're starting out, try and avoid them a bit more. Or take more care. But, to contradict that point, those generators are usually the best ones to try and get done early in the game. Especially central generators. If you can get a central generator done early in the game, great. If you can get an unsafe generator done early in the game, brilliant. You get these sort of generators done, a middle generator will stop a killer from getting a free generator strategy against you, which is basically a cluster of generators at the end of the game. Like, so you, you need to complete one more gen, right? There's always three gens left on the map when that occurs. You have to complete one of the three. If you leave three really close together, clustered together, that's a free generator strategy the killer can use to really, really pin you down, make it really difficult for you. Best way to avoid that, get the middle generators done and then make sure you're paying attention to what your teammates are doing and pick up the generator on the other side to the one they might have just done. Be brave, be smart, think about what you're trying to do. If you've got a killer running towards you, make sure you're looking where you're going but also keep rotating your camera around, looking behind you. What's that killer doing? What's he thinking? If it's a huntress, are they getting, is she getting a hatchet ready to make a throw? If she is, what are you going to do? Are you going to dive to the left, dive to the right? What are you going to do? Think about it. Think what you're doing at every given time, if you, possibly, if you can. Obviously, if you need to the game, it's very tricky that you need to get them something what you're doing. But yeah, keep it in mind. Keep it in mind. Um, lastly, who to play first. Now, a popular consensus which is more of a, an older idea and it's still a bit prevalent now is either Claudette or Meg as you won your first survivors. I say no, don't level them up to start with. Both have good, good perks but for very situational reasons or reasons that are going to not teach you the game, it's not going to get you very far very quickly. Other, ki other, other survivors sorry, are going to be a lot more beneficial to you getting better at the game, learning the game and making sure your playstyle is as proactive, as um, quick, energetic and rapid fire as possible. Because as a survivor, you really need to get those generators done as quickly as you can. Some people call it gen rushing. It's not gen rushing, it's just getting your primary objective done as soon as possible. And to get that done as soon as possible, you need to make sure you're doing good, quick, active decisions get them done um is there anything else i can really give you to start with look for other youtube videos great content creators out there 
Otofu, Puppers, Monto, Noob3, as you bet Lel, True Talent on FIFA, Debbie B. There's a plethora of resources there that can really help you. Some on YouTube, some on Twitch. If you can find a popular Twitch streamer, give their stream a bit of a watch. Uh, work out their thought processes. Listen to what they're saying, what they're thinking, how they're reacting, yada, yada, yada. How they're using pallets, how they're using window bolts, how they're using jungle gyms, etc. Uh, watching these kind of people, it's going to be great for you. I recommend highly you watch videos first before really diving into the game. Chris is going to be so beneficial, so beneficial. To learn a lot more doing that early on than you would just playing the game, crouching around, not really knowing what you're doing. Um, if I can help you, like, subscribe, comment, join my Discord server, which you will find by finding my Twitch. It's the same name as my YouTube, XR1990, so it's on Twitch for me. That in there underneath the description is my Discord link. You'll be able to find it. No problem at all. And I will help you. Um, that'll be it, guys. It's a nice quick one for you. Good luck in the games. Rank reset can be tough. There's a lot of killers out there who didn't really want to progress in the ranks, and they are good killers, but they decided there wasn't um, last month, and you'll be facing quite a few. Don't let this on you. Keep playing. You'll find killers more to your own skill level. As you go along, you'll find killers. But I'm going to destroy you. It's part of the game. And remember, the game is a four versus one. It's a team game. It's not a one versus one. So make sure that if you do get downed, you're not taking it too, too in here. You're going to be down. You're going to die. You're going to have real bad games and really good games. It's a blend of everything. It's a bit of fun for the whole family. Take a pinch of salt. Enjoy your games. Make the best out of it. Keep going and you're going to make great survivors. And for all your killers out there, I'm sorry this guy wasn't really for you. I also play killer though and I will try and get you a guide for killer. As soon as I can, but I'm not best killer. I feel like I'm a better survivor. I feel like I know the game better as a survivor than a killer. That's why this is more survival focused. But for you guys as well, keep at it. You're doing good. Take care, people. Have a good one.